The survey said that next to playing better pickleball, the most important part for you was staying injury free. If you're willing to spend a few minutes off the pickleball court to do that, then you're going to want to stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Staying injury free is so important. After all, if we're injured, we don't get to play as much pickleball. As we age, things start to change for us in the five key areas of fitness. Now, if you're not sure what those five key areas of fitness are, just click on the link that's coming up above and it's gonna take you to something that will help you. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of those things that tends to deteriorate as we age and most of us don't do anything to improve it. And we can't, that's called balance. As we age, our balance decreases in part for four reasons. Number one, our muscular strength decreases, our muscular flexibility and joint flexibility decreases, our vestibular inside of our ears, those cells decrease, and certainly our eyes change. With those four things decreasing, it becomes more important than ever to train balance. Today I'm gonna to share with you six different exercises. There'll be a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced version. Pick one or two of these and do them a couple times during the course of the day. Let's start with the head nods. In the beginner position, stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna start by looking to the right and then move the head up and down. Then look to the opposite direction, again, moving the head up and down. Do that multiple times. If it feels like it's too easy for you, try it with your eyes closed. Now let's move into the intermediate position. This time we're going to stand heel toe. Start by moving your head left to right. Forget the up and down for just a moment. Move left to right. Once that feels comfortable, then move to one side, with then the head up and down, then over to the other side and up and down. For the advanced position, you're gonna stand on one foot. Let's start the exercise the same way we did the intermediate one. Simply move the head from right to left. Once you feel comfortable doing that, and it can be really hard to get this one, you can see even I'm having a hard time with it, then move to one side, go up and down, and then back to the other side, up and down. Okay, now we're gonna move into the single leg dev lift. For the beginner position, simply stand on one leg. Let's do your best leg first and we're going to lift the trailing leg as high as we possibly can. That may only be a little bit off the floor, but what you're trying to do is lift the trailing leg up, keeping the other leg straight. Now for the intermediate position, let's lift that trailing leg so that it is parallel to the floor with the base leg staying as straight as possible. For the advanced version of this exercise, we're gonna add some weight. Take a small medicine ball or whatever you may have, a dumbbell is fine as well. We're going to lower up and down, making sure that the supporting leg stays straight and that we don't bend forward from the waist. For the overhead reach in the beginner position, the first thing we're gonna try and do is to stabilize and have balance on one leg. So stand on one leg, start on your dominant leg first because that's usually the easiest one to do. For the intermediate version of this exercise, we're gonna stand on one leg, open our palms up towards the ceiling and simply raise them overhead until our hands touch, then lower them down slowly. For the advanced version of this exercise, we're gonna add a small medicine ball or a dumbbell, whatever you may have. Have it travel from one hand over to the other, keeping your balance on one leg. If any of these are too easy at any point in time, feel free to close your eyes. That will definitely make it harder.
For the beginner version of the kneeling bird dog, get on all fours, making sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders and that your hips are squarely over your knees. Begin by raising one leg off the ground so that it's parallel to the floor. As you're comfortable with that, raise the arm on the opposite side. For the intermediate version of this position, we're simply going to bring the arm and the leg together to the center, seeing if we can make them touch at the same point in time, keeping our balance. If you really wanna test your stability in the bird dog position, raise one leg and then raise the arm on the same side. Once you feel balanced there, move the arm back and the knee forward at the same time, trying to touch the elbow to the knee. A stability ball is a great way to help us to improve our balance. Chances are the gym you go to has one, and if you don't have access to it, you may purchase one. They cost about $20 or so. Start by sitting on the ball and reaching your arms out in front of you. We're gonna keep our arms directly in front of our chest as we turn side to side, maintaining our balance on the ball. If this is too easy for you, close your eyes. In the intermediate version of the stability ball twist, we're going to do the same twisting motion side to side, but we're going to lift one leg. Again, if you find this easy, close your eyes and give that a try. For the advanced version of this exercise, we're gonna lift the legs off the ground and see if we can maintain our balance on the ball. For the beginner version of the stability ball Superman, simply put the ball underneath your hips, roll onto your hands, and maintain your balance. For the intermediate version of this exercise, we're gonna try lifting one hand off the ground at a time. Again, if you're finding this too simple, make sure you close your eyes. That'll definitely make it harder. In the advanced version of the stability ball Superman, we're gonna try and lift our arms and our legs off the ground at the same time. Don't neglect your balance. As I mentioned at the beginning of this, take one or two of these exercises, do them a couple of times a day. It's only gonna take you a very short amount of time to do them, and you're gonna see your ba balance improve quickly. If you got value from this video, if you wouldn't mind giving a little thumbs up, I'm curious, do you already do things to help you with your balance? If you do, put it down in the comments below and let me know what your favorite exercises are. If you wouldn't mind, share this with your pickleball playing friends, because after all, if they're healthy, they're going to be on the court with you, because together we can train smart, live bold, and age well.